Hello, my name is Tong Chiao Jing. I'm an infection control professional from the Ren Xiu Hospital, School of Medicine of Zhejiang University. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, which describes our systematic review and meta-analysis on the use of prophylactic topic antibiotics for the prevention of a complicated wood infections. I'd like to thank my co-authors again for their efforts. They did a great job, and I'm so impressed and appreciative. As we know, the prescription of topic antibiotics for the prevention of infections in a complicated wood is common. However, the efficacy is not well reported. Therefore, the objective of the study was to conduct a systematic review and meta-analysis of the available evidence on prevention of a complicated wood infections by prophylactic topic antibiotics. We searched published literature in the databases PubMed, Google Scholar, Scopus, and the National Guidelines Clearinghouse between from 1980 uh, to 2017. The foreign key search terms were used for our literature search. Uh, surgery, surgical, operation, wound infection, uncomplicated prophylaxis, prevention, topic, antibiotic. After reviewing the data, we identified eight randomized controlled uh, trials and uh, for cause randomized trials that met the uh, criteria for the systematic review. Of those trials, 11 studies were pulled for meta-analysis to compare the uh, effects of topical antibiotics versus placebo, and four studies were pulled for comparison of topical antibiotics versus topical antiseptics on complicated wounds. The data showed fewer wood infections occurred in the topical antibiotic arms compared to placebo. Uh, Pulled risk ratio was 0.57, and pulled risk difference was minus 3.1% compared to antiseptics. Typical antibiotics demonstrated statistically significant relative risk reduction. For this study, we conclude that topic antibiotics are effective in reducing wood infections after surgical procedures, but the absolute benefit is small.